What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we actually have a classic hardcore gold making guide and I've only done one of these videos with classic hardcore because my main focus is still on retail but I'm having a blast playing classic hardcore off stream so I got a bunch of alts doing a, a big variety of gold farms combined with XP grinding. And I've already done one video on a classic gold farm that you can start already at level 16. But my uh, community is mainly interested in retail. You could see it like the video didn't do that well. But uh, I'm a firm believer that as a content creator, I just need to work on whatever I enjoy at the moment. And I am having a lot of fun with classic hardcore. So hopefully you watching the video will like it as well. Now, before we dive into uh, these spots specifically... Big thank you to every single one of you guys that are playing uh, Classic Hardcore. And if you picked up the uh, complete gold guide for Classic Hardcore, it's basically a guide that has a ton of the best raw gold and steady gold farms to do while you level from level 1 to 60. And then a bunch of uh, the best gold farms that you can do once you get to level 60. So if you don't have that and you want to grab it, click the link in the description down below. And by using the discount code HARDCORE, you can get it for 50% off. So before we go over the location that I'm at right now, I want to highlight the spot that is insanely good for XP grinding. As you can see, these uh, Moss Side Nulls, they're uh, like roughly level 20-ish. Some mobs at 21, 22, but they're really easy to kill. They don't have a lot of armor, so even if you're a melee like me and my rogue, the mobs, they die fairly easily. But the most insane part about this farm right here is the spawn rate. Like, they have what Blizzard calls a dynamic spawn rate. Like, there always has to be mobs up at any given time. I thought that these guys were onto my farming spot for a while, but it, it turns out that they were just questing because they did eventually leave. But the farming spot is really, really good just because of how easy they are to kill and that there's always going to be mobs up at this small, small camp. Uh, in terms of loot at this location, uh, they do drop raw gold, of course, or raw silver, rather, and copper. But you also get cloth, but the majority of your gold, since there's no real material besides from cloth dropping from them, uh, is going to be on green items. Uh, but the main focus is just if you want to do something where you can actually grind out a really good amount of XP per hour, this spot is really good. And I got a bunch of green items, even blue items, from doing these Moss Side Knolls. And... The camp to this place right here is located alongside the river, right where the river splits into this pond. So on the other side of this pond. I just thought that I would add this if you're interested in uh, a lot of XP. Because this spot right here on the west side of this pathway right here, it's a very common um, farming spot that a lot of people are aware of. But you're killing four different types of these whelplings that you can see on the ground right here. Now, it's important to know that these whelplings called Lost Whelp, they don't have the main item on uh, on their loot table. Uh, the main item uh, like of these guys right here is the Tiny Crimson Whelpling. That's the battle pet that has a small chance of dropping from these whelplings. Now, obviously, these are the prices on my realm, and it goes without saying, before we go over all these items you can get from the farm, it's still relatively early since release, and all of these prices are naturally going to go up in value due to inflation. The higher uh, level the majority of the player base gets and the more people hitting level 70, the more raw gold will be pumped into the economy and prices will go, go up. But I fully realize that like everyone that's interested in doing a farm like this, they need gold. They want to spend gold on gearing up or buying their skills and whatnot. Uh, so if you get a tiny crimson whelpling, even if you spend a couple of hours before it actually drops, the gold per hour is pretty steady. Outside uh, of the lost whelp, which doesn't drop the, the crimson whelpling, you have these red whelps that takes place like closer to the river on the, the west side right here. Uh, but if you go further in, you'll find the crimson whelpling as well. Uh, they're going to be in the middle line all the way down. And they can drop the Crimson Whelpling. And alongside the uh, the mountain side, you also have a different kind of Whelpling. Uh, like it's actually a higher level Whelpling. 
so you can do this farm if you're like in your mid 20s it should be very efficiently the red whelps are lower level though so you can do it uh you can do it sooner as well but the crimson whelplings and the uh, the channeling whelps they cast fireballs that's uh they roam around or alongside the mountainside they can also drop the crimson whelpling that's super rng and i just consider that there we have it the flame snorting whelp i just consider that bonus gold if you get a, a tiny crimson whelpling now the gold is in uh obviously the raw silver pickup they're whelplings they drop silvers so it doesn't make a lot of sense uh, but they do so you get depending on your class and your level like how fast you're able to kill them and so on uh but i got like one gold and 70 silver an hour just from like raw copper and silver pickup but on top of that you will of course get some uh, gray items that you can vendor uh like just for raw golds and then you get green items in my first hour of testing it I got myself these gloves and this belt, so uh, that's like almost 50 silver as well. Got myself jade, lesser moonstone, and then you get the materials, which is small flame sack, which uh, is needed for uh, the flame protection or fire protection pot. So very useful in like Blackwing Lair and Molten Core. You also get large fang and sharp claw needed for the rage pots. But again, all of these items are items that will go up in the value in the future. So it depends. I'm personally going to save those items because I don't need to spend the gold on anything on any of my tuners right now. But you can also just go ahead and sell them on the auction house now. That, together with the potential green items, battle pet, and uh, silver pickup, it's going to be a decent gold per hour farm. So with that being said, that was pretty much it. And if you guys want me to continue making these classic hardcore videos, just let me know in the comment section. Lower level, higher level, max level. What level are you at? What level or range do you want to see a combination of gold farms? and xp grinds for and if you want to know already right now consider checking out the uh classic gold guide linked in the description with that being said appreciate it guys see you all in the next one bye bye